Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Martin, welcome to another trade in 212, £500 episode. So, uh, if I do have any screenshots, I will show you and explain them now. But basically, uh, this is literally only about, you know, one day, so 24 hours, maybe even, maybe even only half a day since uh, I opened the last trades on the um, on the previous episode. So it's getting quite quick, quick. we're doing, um, we're chucking out these episodes as quickly as we can, so we can get as much trading in as possible. Um, so as you can see, we've lost our Bitcoin trade. Now, as you can tell from the, the screenshot I showed you, we did have to cash us out at the minus 98 mark. I'm very happy that we did put a stop loss because I was thinking of just leaving it. But I'm happy that because uh, in the last episode, remember I said that I did wanted to get rid of the stop loss because I wanted to have a little bit of a free fall, you know, move so we can eventually go back up and hit our take profit. But you know, it, it felt it felt 100 120 points. So that that alone. You know, signifies it's getting weaker over time. So my my previous predi prediction was wrong. Um, that's just that's just how it is. I can't I can't sugarcoat it. It's just completely and utterly wrong. So we look at Bitcoin now. It's currently sat at four six seven one. So you know, like you know, four four. Yeah. So I it would have been at about minus 150, 160 pounds if it wasn't if I didn't set the stop loss. So actually, we would have been at a worse position uh, if we didn't do that. But I still want to hop on it. I still want to hop on it really really badly. Um, why I want to hop on it badly because I do think it will be able to drive back up to that 500 mark. My previous prediction, I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to be a little bit bullish and say it will hit the 5000 mark. But do I really want to test it? Do I really want to test Bitcoin? Because uh, just look at the sudden, the sudden upturn and then just poof, straight down from you know the 4900 mark to the if that's actually really annoying it actually went up that far because actually our stop loss was only set at oh sorry our take profit was only set at about four nine four nine seventy four nine eighty and when man managed to go up to what's that four nine thirty and then it dropped so we actually had about like a plus sixty seventy profit when I was sleeping you know so that's quite quite annoying um but no I do I don't I don't really think we can really do anything I don't want to hop on it so I'm gonna chuck away because we've had a little play with it um but basically looking at the other looking at the other ones we have quickly before I uh, jump into anything we do have the R Under Armour stock they have currently five of it only at minus 35 35p um, you know we're just waiting for it to have have somewhat of a big movement upwards or downwards and um, yeah I'm, I'm planning I'm planning on holding this for a little bit longer maybe we can increase the position add maybe another five um, you know because we can at some point. You know, we we can add we can add up to like we can add up to forty. So I might add a couple more, uh, depending on how we do. But I was looking at the pound to the pound to the Canadian dollar. See what's doing. It's currently come off the back of a big drop. You know, all the way from one point six two to one point six one and a half. You know, the point zero five drop. It's quite big. Um, looking at the RSI, it's currently sat in the middle. You see, look at the overbought and oversold. It's currently been a bit overbought. Um, which is good and bad in itself. You know, both good and bad because good as in the price should go up now on which it is um, so I might hop on it I'm gonna hop on it right now uh, we'll hop on with 15 um, and we will automatically set our stop loss and take profits uh, so what we will do we'll set the we set it any tighter might be able to have to yeah we can set it that's actually a really good level down here. That's a really good level to have our stop loss. Can you see it's um we have our previous support here and we have another support here which is um you know in line with it. In theory, if it does drop, it shouldn't go really that much past this point unless it you know decides to um turn away and go lower. Uh but that is quite unlikely. Um but we will see and I'll take profit set sat at the top of these candlesticks. Actually it's a very very good very good margin to have. Uh if we if you go a little bit further out, you can see uh, we have our stop loss set at the support level and our take profit set at the resistance level, which is literally the perfect setup. So I'm very happy uh, with that right now. Hopefully that can do some magic for us. Uh, we'll have to wait and see in the future. Um, but yeah, uh, so that, that's the one trade we're making this episode. Um, but let's have, have a quick look at this Ripple, uh, the cryptocurrency, this really crazy cryptocurrency. I have no idea. Like about it, about anything of it. We bought a thousand, a uh, quantity of a thousand. Currently, we're down 20, 20 pounds on it. Uh, we don't, we do. I, I decided not to set a stop loss or take profit because I just wanted to ride it, see where it goes, see what happens. Um, currently, 
it doesn't seem to be in a good position uh, too much. You see, you know, from this position, you can't really tell if it's going to go up or down. You know, it's this kind of graph. You can't really read it. You know, the resistance is shown here from, from this level back here. This doesn't really matter from now on. But um, yeah, you see, it was at this point here that I decided to buy it. it was like I think it was, I think it was around about here. I decided to buy it. Uh, but it, it's been it's been in the negatives literally the whole time I've held the trade. Um, so yeah, we'll just wait and see about that. But so we have three trades currently seventy eight percent margin. Uh, obviously that Bitcoin trade that I showed you earlier, not really going too well for us. Let's close all these ones. Uh, having a look at oil, uh, oil, oil is like the oil market. Currently it's at forty seven. Uh, I'm sure it's forty seven dollars to the barrel. And uh, you know, we obviously know it was it wasn't a bit of a hard spot. Currently, it was trading at forty five dollars to the barrel, which is a little bit. Um, yeah, currently a bit of a, a bit, bit of an uptrend, a bit of a decent uptrend. You know, we might be able to follow it. Um, it's actually like a lot. You know, we could be could be seeing a bit of a downtrend now because look at the RSI. It's currently at the top. Last time the RSI hit the top, it did fall did fall a little bit. Um, it is currently still overbought at seventy to thirty, um, and it's actually gone out gone out of the Bollinger Bands. So in my eyes, this is really the place to sell. Yeah, this is this is quite a, a good place to sell, and, it, and then it goes in line with this trade. Uh, we, we want the pound to get stronger against the Canadian dollar, and if the oil market drops, we know the, the um, Canada as a whole, its biggest investor investor is the oil market. So if oil if oil does badly, that means the Canadian dollar is going to do badly. So what I'm going to do is I can get a maximum quantity of one thousand. I'm going to chuck two hundred on the sell side. And uh, we're going to set our, our, st our stop loss and take profits. Coming down a 70% margin, so not too shabby. Uh, we're going to set these bad boys at 30 apiece. Lovely stuff. Okay, so we have we have very tight margins. We're working with very very tight margins. I'm actually gonna I'm actually gonna just increase the oil one just a little bit. So we're going to increase the oil stop loss to 42 instead of 32. Just give us a little bit more leeway. Um, so yeah, those are currently our trades. Um, it's going to be the end of the episode. We're still currently seventy percent margin, so we have a lot of margin to work with. Uh, still, hopefully these trades can work out for us. I do foresee good things, especially for this oil one. I think it's going to be uh, a good one for us in the short term. Um, hopefully, it can hit that take profit that we have set there. So we have uh, oil on the sell. We have pound to the Canadian dollar on the buy. Uh, we have still a, a little, little bit of Under Armour stock, and then we have our cryptocurrency in the form of the Ripple. So. Um, Hopefully the trades can do good things. I, I would like this ripple to reach, um, you know, the break-even mark because I don't, really don't want it to like fall. Um, I'm actually going to set a stop loss just in case. Just in case, I'm going to set the, a stop loss. Sixty-nine low banter, but no, because uh, I really don't want it to drop. You know, from point from point two six to point one seven. That's a big drop. That's a big drop for any any stock in general to drop that much. To drop by like. You know, 30-40% of its overall value. That's like crazy. Okay. So this is going to be the end of the episode. If you enjoyed, make sure you like, comment down below, subscribe to the channel. And yeah, I'll be back tomorrow, hopefully, to see how these trades are doing. Uh, yeah, make sure to leave, leave um, check out the books in the description below. Leave a comment uh, telling me what things you want me to look at. And yeah, make sure you have a nice day. Stay safe and peace.